Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. I'm so excited for this video because it's been a long time coming. Um, it's been this nursery tour. It's just finished. Literally, I've just finished putting the finishing touches in today. So I'm not gonna ramble on too much because this is quite a chatty video. I've done a reel, which is very quick, and I'm doing this one for those of you that enjoy just chilling out, watching a relaxing video, and just wanna hear where everything's from in a bit more detail. So without further ado, let's get into the video. This is what Finley's room looked like before. It might be mobile footage, so apologies if it's vertical. And then obviously what it looks like after. <laughs> pleased with it. I would say it's probably 95% finished. There's always a few things that I want to add or change slightly but I realised that if I wait till that point I will never show you any rooms. So here we are pretty much finished and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, you may have heard me say in recent videos that I was thinking of doing his nursery with a bit of a, a loosely loose rainbow theme um, which is probably why you'll see some rainbows in his nursery but I decided against that in the end because I found this absolutely gorgeous wallpaper um, so what happened was before Finley was born my dad panelled this wall and um, we painted it in a colour called Mizzle by Farrow and Ball we also um, painted this chest of drawers in Mizzle so this was a face bay find I was so pleased with it I have seen a few people on Instagram and YouTube have this but obviously I got it second hand so if you know where this was originally from I would be really interested to know um, it's a lovely unit the only thing is one thing I didn't think about at the time was when you have a drawer like this with um, two handles it can be hard to open with one hand and with a baby you are often one-handed um, and the drawers don't slide out that easily either I think it's because it's been painted a few times bef even before we had it but anyway it's lovely but maybe not the most practical thing I've ever bought so inside the drawers here as you can see um, I've just got some bibs some hats some socks baby wipes usually there's some nappies in here but I do need to refill it and because this isn't the most practical I haven't been using um, these two drawers as much um, but they're great storage anyway just not so easy if you want to get hold of things really quickly so my dad also did this wall as you can see it has a sort of ton and groove effect this was actually done by routering out sheets of MDF he is amazing I don't know how he did it the patience he had and he even like the detail he went to to line up um, the lines with the cupboard is just ridiculous so it just looks this beautiful because of him I had the ideas but he made them all come to life so as always thank you so much dad um, and this is his little cupboard this runs over our stairs so when we were first um, doing his room we were going to use it as his wardrobe but as time went on we realised how impractical that was I'm going to show you inside but please don't expect it to be organised it is a big mess at the minute you may have recently seen in my TK Maxx and Home Sense haul I found these lovely little hair um, antique bronze yes antique bronze door pulls I've got four of them but at the moment there's just one on his cupboard and I just think it's so gorgeous so that's on there and da, da, da. this is his cupboard it's got his pram bassinet in it's got some cushions it's got some hangers it's got loads of books that were my elder children's that he will have eventually and it's got lots of their old clothes in he's basically got every hummy down he could ever need and then just some other bits and bobs in there like blocks which you can't even play with yet so it's a brilliant storage space but as you can see even if we'd have run some rails across it it would have wasted all the space in the back so I'm glad we didn't do that in the end and I'm going to show you what we did do 
So this is the Harwell wardrobe from Mamas and Puppers, and I'm so excited to say that Mamas and Puppers are sponsoring this section of the video. Um, so we put this together a few weeks ago. I say we did again. My dad came to the rescue and put this together for us. Um, and he he's a carpenter, so he has put together a lot of furniture that comes flat packed before and even he said that was a dream to put together like he actually enjoyed it i think which he has never said before so that says something and he just commented on the beautiful quality of it so the harwell wardrobe um has this gorgeous wooden two-tone effect and the thing i loved most about it was well there's a few things one you have this open shelving so Obviously a more traditional wardrobe would have had the two doors and which is lovely and hides lots of mess But this way you can have some of your favorite things in the room on show So it becomes like a display area and a storage area in one You could even have lovely colored baskets on here so you could still hide lots of things away um, But it just adds that bit of color and you can just add in whatever you know themes and colors you have in the room But then it's got these drawers as well they're really easy to pull out, unlike my face bay find, <laughs> and they're really deep. So in here at the moment, I've just got some uh, baby grows, vests, and some trousers and shorts at the back. Then in the back here, I'm storing his muslin blankets, um, sleeping bags, cot sheets for his new cot, and everything like that. So they are fantastic drawers. And then my other favorite feature of this wardrobe is that this door slides which is perfect for a small bedroom, which babies' rooms often can be. Um, it's just amazing that you don't have to open the doors. It does make such a difference. He doesn't have loads in here at the moment. He's in that in-between stage. He's nearly six months, so I've bought him some six to nine month bits, and that's what's kind of here. But what I might do, because they have the two adjustable rails, you can obviously take this out if you wanted to, but I'm gonna probably get one of those boxes where you hang it from the rail, and it has like, you know, like the fabric boxes that come down, because I think when he's little, I just tend to fold a lot more, and when he's older, I'll hang his clothes up like the boys. But this wardrobe has so much space, and um, the thing I love about their furniture as well is it all really grows with them. So just quickly, the bits on here, I've got some newbie trunks, um, and this little starlight was actually Archie's, I think, and I've just popped that up there for now. Um, I probably need to get an extension lead if I actually want that to work, but at the minute it doesn't. Um, I got this little bear basket from Primark um, earlier in the week, and he's just got some of his jelly cat bunnies. Then I've just got some like, um, cellular blankets, these blankets, just ones that went with the theme of his room and these are little floor cushions. And then another, if you saw my TK Maxx haul, you'll have seen most of this, but another little trunk, which I thought went with it. This box is from HomeSense or TK Maxx. This little card's from Primark, from my nan. And even in the back there, I've got some more of these Primark like um, crates and they've got smaller muslins in. And then on the side as well, I've got this H&M rainbow hook because I thought the colours still went really, really well. And also this wooden alphabet, wood, wooden alphabet, <laughs> woodland alphabet um, print that I got from Etsy. And then I bought just this little magnetic hanger to hang it up there, which I thought was cute. So this is the matching mamas and papas Harwell cot bed. And again, it's in that beautiful like wood and white kind of two-toned effect, which I just think really warms it up and makes it look so lovely. And this cot is perfect because it grows with them. It also turns into a toddler bed and they can sleep in it till they're about four years old, which is absolutely amazing. So obviously you just take off the front and the back. And also as your little one grows, the mattress can be lowered by another two levels. So it can be there in the middle and then right down low once, you know, they're getting to the point where they can stand up and they try and get out, which I have had happen twice already and I know it's coming. It might be a while off, but it will be coming. Um, and then, yeah, this is his cot. This is also a mama's and papa's mattress, which is really nice. It's a spring mattress, so it feels really soft, but obviously all baby mattresses have to be firm. So it, it's firm, but it feels comfortable, if that makes sense. I've actually gotten it myself and I'm not even joking. Um, <laughs> I haven't broken it yet. So 
yes, I don't have all of these bits in his cot when he sleeps in here. I feel like I just have to make that disclaimer. But he's got some little teddies over here. This little frog was £3.50 from Primark and this little bear was £1.50 from Primark. This is a cuddling kind deer, which is Elliot's, but Elliot's kindly um, given it to Finley at the minute. He's a bit obsessed with this. Finley. He loves looking at it. I think it's because at the minute it's about the same size as him, but the deer is actually called Elliot, which I just love. And then this little goose, which I bought before Finley was born, I think I was having a bit of um, a moment because for a soft toy it was very expensive. I think it's was it a German brand. I'll try and link everything below, but for a toy it was a bit silly really. But anyway, <laughs> um, this is the cushion that I got from TK Maxx, which is actually a tea towel. You may be able to tell up close, I haven't sewn this together yet, but it's got a cushion insert in it. And this is the vibe that I'm going for. I just need some time to actually sew it. And this gorgeous little um, cot, I think they're called a cot caddy um, from Avery Road. This is their grasslands print. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful. It's so, so lovely. Again, I'll link everything below. Um, as well as, of course, the mama's and papa's furniture. The Harwell, you can buy all of the pieces individually, um, but it also comes as a set, or you can buy sort of the cot and the wardrobe together, for example, but you can get another piece, which is the changing table, which um, has drawers in it. I'll put it on the screen, actually. And then it has a changing bit on the top, which you can remove as they get older, so it just becomes a chest of drawers. I think I may end up, when we get downstairs done, using this somewhere else and I might buy that to put in here because the other thing I was going to mention was I honestly thought even though I measured this before I placed the order I thought this was all going to be too big for the room it is I don't know how it's showing up on camera but it's a pretty small room and I just thought oh no have I made a mistake is everything just going to feel too squashed but it literally doesn't at all this wardrobe and this cot are lovely sizes they're not too big or too small. Like, I feel like I'm Goldilocks now, but do you know what I mean? They're just, they I feel like they're perfect for this room. Let me just go back to the wall and the paint colors. So I found this wallpaper recently on Newbie and I just fell in love with it. It is so gorgeous. I got a sample of it and I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna just go for it. I know it's a very busy print, but as it's only on half of one wall, I feel like it works. I loved the woodland theme and the fact that I thought when I first saw it online, I might have to repaint the um, mizzle colour more of this kind of green, like we've got somewhere else in our house. But I didn't because this colour is very much in other parts of it. But I wanted to tie in this sort of, I don't know, it's like the the red of the flowers and the mushrooms and the squirrels. So I took the wallpaper and got it color matched, although that didn't really work out. So in the end, I just got this color paint from Valspar. It's called Belfry Brick. And I don't know whether I'm gonna go back again and get maybe a slightly darker sort of brick red color, or if this works. Let me know what you think, but I had these and they were a pale baby pink. They used to be in my office years ago. And I thought, do you know what, I'm just gonna, do a bit of an accent colour and I thought it looked quite cool and then obviously these are all of his baby books as well some are new and some were the boys so they're lovely some of my favourites up there the walls and the panelling and the cupboard and everything is fur and ball um what is it Wimborne white but we had that colour mixed we had this little peg shelf made by a company on ebay and then he's got his little rainbow. I can't remember where that's from. It may have been, I'm not sure, but you can definitely get them on Etsy. And then his, one of my favorite things ever is this little cardigan from Lulu Bear Knits. Um, it's just so beautiful. So obviously it says Finley. It's just beautifully knitted and it's just gonna be a very special keepsake, I think, forever. Um, this little, I don't know, it's like a stacker. But you could also, they could also chew on it as well because these are really soft. That was from Amazon. These were from, I think, HomeSense or TK Maxx. It's a little card from my first years. A little goose, which was from um, TK Maxx or HomeSense again. And another little card from Primark. 
On top of his chest of drawers, he's just got some creams. And then this is the Oliella changing basket, which again, it's just one of those things that's quite expensive, but I really, really wanted to get it. And it was just one of those things that we got before he was born. And I just thought, yeah, I'm gonna treat myself to that because it will look really lovely in his room. And then you can buy the little inserts. This one, I can't remember where this one was from. May have been also, is it by Oliella? or something like that. And then I've got the Avery Road Grasslands one as well. So I just obviously wash them and swap them out. They're just both in there at the moment because it seems like the best place to store it whilst we're not using the mat. The carpet is from Tappy Carpets. I don't know how well you can see or how interested you are, but it's this kind of carpet, which I prefer so much more to the, the softer ones that we had in our last house. They just seem more hard wearing. Um, I love the color. If I can find out what one it is, I will link it in the description box below. And then the little sort of seagrass lampshade was actually from Misguided. Bit of a random purchase, but that's where it's from nonetheless. Um, a couple more things. Sorry if I've gone on for ages. This little pulley basket in the shape of a car you may have seen in my baby shower hamper video. I decided to keep this for Finn. Um, because it's really cute at the minute it's just got one of my little blankets in it because this is an area i'm not really sure what i'm going to do with yet i might put toys in it or another little throw or blanket more in the color scheme of this room but for now that's just there it'll probably just get filled up with books and toys to be honest i have his little dutch um stacker rainbow which was actually elliot's bless him but he doesn't really play with it anymore part of me is wondering whether to paint this in all the colors in the room but I don't want to ruin it and also when when do we ever get the time to do things like that in life as mums but let me know would you paint it to match the room to make it look cute or just leave it as it is um and then I think the only other thing I haven't mentioned is the blind I don't know how well you can see it because I'm filming towards the window um but it's a blackout Roman blind it's really really lovely I'll actually pull it down for you to see well now you can't really see it because it's dark in here didn't really think that through so it is a blackout blind but as you can see this is a very bright room and it's not even that sunny today so i'm going going to need something else for closer up to the window so if you have any suggestions for something i could put behind this to stop the light coming through so it's like completely dark in here please let me know so that's Finley's nursery. As I said, I'm so pleased with it. He is a few weeks off being six months. So even though he's had some naps and stuff in here already, he's not fully in here yet. Um, so it's a bit bittersweet, but I'm just so happy that he's got a lovely room. And it may have taken me six months to get here, nearly six months to get it all done. But I'm glad I took my time because I changed my mind quite a lot and we got the basics done we got like the mizzle color as i said the carpet done the walls painted the um pan, like the ton and groove and got the bare bones of it done even before he was born but it's just taken me long a bit longer to work out exactly how i wanted to finish it off and i'm so so pleased with it so i will link everything i can in the description box below so you can find it easily thank you so much again to mamas and papas for working with me it's been an absolute dream come true as they are one of my favorite parenting baby brands ever um so yes and if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and leave me a little comment below i would love to hear from you and i will see you again in another video very soon bye guys